Boom. And here we go. This is Flash Somebody at the Dork Table Podcast. Do this a lot. Over at the real liberty medium dot com. That's where I do most of my uh, original stuff at. There you go. Supposed to have any on today, but it looks like I'm just flying alone. And everything here, the meters are moving. The connection seems to be, uh, but it posted in a... Uh, but it posted in a perfect world, but I changed it. Uh, uh, let me uh, let me try that. We will do fun stuff. But it says dork table on my equipment, so I suppose mm, I'm still in the delay. Okay, I will just assume that we need to catch up here in the delay part of the thing anyway and the wife's got me distracted hey rob works uh thanks there she's uh taken off with the dog at the beginning of my podcast so hannah won't get all excited and try to take us over in her coup d'etat way she does like to bark when i'm radioing anyhow yeah and we're uh at the dork table on this fine Saturday, the second day of March, two zero one and nine. Uh, Real Liberty Medium, is that what I said? Wow. Anyway, I might be losing my mind and be saying all kinds of ridiculous dorkular shit on this radio. Never know. Anyway. We're going to start the program out the same way we always have. Give Grim a little grease for all the you know work he does to keep all this stuff going. Hey, Moose. And, uh, you know, we made it through February, so we don't have to beg for any more money. That's kind of nice. But I did have fun doing that. Uh, so we're going to say hello to the bots and bodies that uh, control all the thinking in the reallibertymedia.com chat room. And what do we got going on today? Hmm. We've got Barman, Grimner, Moose Girl, Miss Kate, Brackets, DC, Asmo, Chalcedonic, Graham, Z-I-B, Don C, J. Dread, Rain, Rob Works, The Bubbler, Rooms, Vanna Wyatt, uh, okay, Phantom, Anti-Beetle, Circle, hey honey, she just went out, Cyborg Noodle, a Mental Pancakes, disguised in his super disguised of D-Dork Cake, but we all know who you are, Mental, yeah, <laughs> and then there's me, Frumped, Frumpy, from Canada, da. Gooberzilla, Gromit, Java Doctor 2, oh, Jay's Nines, Jay's Kozu, Kiss, Nins, and Dubois, Ponsa, Sock Puppet, Tech Man, Uno, Van Meter, and the infamous Vinny Spooner. I hope that spoon isn't hurting you, Vinny. So. Hey, everybody's all hey, hey, hey and me. Well, nice to see Pancakes over here at the Dork Table Chat saying hi to his pals and palettes of the uh, American persuasion. You know, there's not a lot of foreigners end up in uh, English-speaking chat format, so I wonder what that's all about. Probably part of the herding process. You know, otherwise... I mean, I don't think people really think about how few people speak English. And, you know, it's not... <laughs> you got to remember, too, a hillbilly in Arkansas, of course, speaks the same English that a guy in, say, Florida speaks to somebody in Vienna, because they don't... 
they don't speak English. They're going to recognize their own language. And then uh, I think like English is fourth on the world's most spoken languages. And then you got people that don't speak any of those four languages on top of that. So how do they get everybody in all these little countries that have their own language beyond the most four popular to believe that everybody in the world thinks what they think is the most important? You know, like France. Let's pick on France, you know, the land of smelly feet and stinky cheese. Mm. No, Grim, let's hold off on the bitching about France thing. I don't know. See, I have this alter ego that was very fond of the fluke and was really grateful that Mary pointed out to him that the fluke was a girl because Hank really didn't give a shit if fluke was a girl or a guy at least it didn't look so bad in public he was finally chasing something that was acceptable except to marry <laughs> but i don't know i don't think have i don't think frank could have as much fun with vanna as he did with fluke fluke was the kind of girl you took into a closet and nobody even noticed she was gone so vanna Hank's going to turn an eyeball and get caught, and he's not going to do that. Hank is not a stupid idiot. Anyway. <laughs> uh, mm. Would you go try and chat with Danes? Oh, hell yeah. Because most of them have to read English to play online in the first place. That's um, not all of it. There's a, a lot of English words thrown into the online world, you know, like Circle Play Her, Danish Cousins, online games. And the most of it is in Danish, except for the words that didn't exist in, in Danish before the internet came and made them necessary to use them. So it's like a slang, I suppose. But I recognize them as English words because of my indoctrination. And I told Cirque, if I told her once, I told her a hundred times and she ignored it. My indoctrination will kick the shit out of your indoctrination any day. And we called it a truce and laughed about it because we know. <sighs> Some people don't really understand the full scale of what they think they represent. Or they're so misled in how they're taught to look at it that they think it's a good thing. And when you try to explain the negative side of the empire to a, a supporter of the empire, you know how it ends. They just ignore you and prattle on about you don't understand and how much space better they are than you and crap like that which proves in the long run um uh, okay well pancakes has been here too and he saw denmark firsthand but i think that the kids that are coming up the ones that you know do a lot of retail with me they they work in the grocery and the bakery, places I go to where there's, you know, teenagers trying to get into the business life. You know, they're trying to progress at school. And I'm not here to straighten them out about how I look at um, finance and politics. No, 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 no. I'm not an idiot. But uh, what I've learned over a period of time is if people do not want to speak English to you, they won't. And it's because it's a benefit in their upbringing to learn it on top of their original um, tribal, <laughs> what do you call that, uh, communication. Because Danish is really difficult. And it changes from like county to county, each area. Or, oh man, you go from here to Copenhagen and they're speaking in a different, it's like state to state at home. So if you're a foreigner, as I am, and you hear Danish in one city and you hear it in another, the only similarity to any of it, to me, is 
I don't understand too much of that. There's a few words that are similar. They uh, Everybody uses them, or phrases, but for the most part, conversation, new. No. So I know what door cakes means. But if you do go and speak English to people, they'll they'll speak that uh, English back to you. But I, I don't know. It's, it's all relative to the person that you're talking to. Some people don't need to talk. You know, some people oh, no, don't know when not to talk. <laughs> I really enjoy going to the bar and letting them talk. And when they do all the talking, I get quite... I, hmm, my self-esteem goes up in a local bar a lot because... Some of my peers over the years have been here and visited. And in the long run with the people that live here, left a, a bad impression of uh, how they are back home. As opposed to what they saw when they visited or how they feel about what they read and see, they themselves. And it's a, <laughs> some Americans are just a little... I think that terminology breaks down to full of their self and well I guess if you're a wealthy guy and you come here to Denmark it's not cheap to visit it's a you know um, it doesn't they're not representing everybody from where I'm from they're representing a, a financial class and I don't know things don't some people work real hard to verbally fit into a certain financial class, you know. Because if you own this and you own that and you're all prestigious and you got shit, yeah, that means really in a lot. Hmm. That you're a slave to the man, baby. And you're going to be working at a job to stay inside forever. And not only that, but even if you pay the damn house off, guess what? It's not your house. They're going to charge you taxes to live in it. And not only that, but if you don't stay on the grid and pay your taxes, and da 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 And then, you know, how socialist can you possibly be before you just break down and just change the name to Socialist States of Socialism? <laughs> Oh, I am a very arrogant, uh, like a hands. Very good. Uh, but then again, I, I kind of try to be arrogant and stuck in my way. I'm an old man now, Rob. I don't have time anymore to screw around with the retarded kids. I'm trying to get beyond it. So... You know, whether it looks bad or not, I mean, people get banned and um, bumped and they get their um, they get their barriers. You know, you're only willing to put up with so much shit from people. And some people just like to irritate you. The whole reason they're on the site is not to do anything more than be a pest, you know, and blame you for what they're doing. It We all know that. So I'm backing the fuck out. I don't. I don't want to do it no more. He's just he's just beyond boring. It's stupid. Now for me to engage that on the chat, I do it a little on the radio. But outside of an ambiguous comment here and there, nah, no more fucking what's his name out of me. He can rot. You know, people all they want to do is bash countries and bash religions in particular. Not all of it. They're particular. It's like, wait a minute. My this is better than your that. I'm so wonderful. No, you're not. <laughs> you know, and uh, I don't know. The people here and where I live, they're kind of victims of the same shit I was once living in, in their own way, but they're just not disgustingly fucking violent about it. They just like being what they are, and they get along with each other, and you're visiting. <laughs> Don't get too happy with yourself. We're letting you be here. And hmm, 
goes beyond law and governments and all. It's all got to do with, uh, like Van Morrison. Van Morrison retired and out of music, and, and he ended up living in a city. I forget the way they say it in Denmark, but what it means in the English translation, van less it had no van in it <laughs> and he was living there me and Cirque thought that was quite amusing because uh, I accidentally did the same thing that famous people did you know it just didn't happen because I was expecting it I just came to meet Cirque and see if she was really her you know, because online, everybody's got this uh, typed-out personality of who they represent themselves as. And I'm a this, and I'm a that, and I'm for this, and I'm for that, and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> anyway, thank you for putting up with that crap. But just the uh, being a part of a thing outside of my marriage is kind of ridiculous. Because I chose Cirque. I thought that's what all that getting married to somebody was. It was not me and the government and the freaking everybody else. No, they're not here. All, you know, there's these guidelines that the, the state that you reside under wants you to uh, live within. And if you can manage to do that. Funny thing happens is society lets you alone. They don't blame you for anything you didn't do. Don't do anything. Be a civil man in a decent world and man, then you don't got any of this crap about war and strife and struggling and hungry people and abortions and all. I don't know. Fuck, I live in with the Cirque. So, I keep my uh, life very simple, so I don't have to be emotionally attached to the shit that the media wants me to be distracted by, so I can't be happy because I'm feeling sorry for somebody I don't know. <laughs> and all this stuff is all done on purpose, so fuck them, you know. How do I mean? It's the same as not standing with Vince on his... Uh, renegade stand for the truth and justice and the American way and what's right. And, and I don't care. <laughs> people, people, they disagree on Monday and then they talk about it on Tuesday. They give it a few minutes of thought and they realize that, yeah, it's just not worth fighting about. See, that, that was what we came to last week, I thought, that... Even though we disagree about stuff, and I'm talking about me and Vinny, not anybody else, but using me and him as an example, that even though we can get nasty and be mad and fuck you and all that, that we can get beyond it. So, yeah, I'm sorry, Cakes. I was fucking around with that, blah, 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 but Danish is a tough language. Ooh, I know that. They know that, too. And then, on top of it, they learn other multiple languages. So, if you start out small and when you're young, it's easier when you're five, six years old. When you're my age, the, the interest in something has to be there. Desire, you know, you got to want to. And I didn't meet Cirque and go, I want to speak Danish. I met Cirque and said, hmm, I want one of those. <laughs> that was that. Yeah, yeah. The rest of it's just a bunch of drama and bullshit. Stuff to, you know, spend your money on. and Yeah, just obey. Because there's some things that are innocent. You know, in, it, I don't look at the world like a lot of people do. Where it's uh, a struggle and a problem. You know, there's so much in life you can be anybody you want to be and go anywhere you want to go there's no limitations just uh, demands on what you're chasing after is what you'll find but we're we're not really taught that we're taught uh, borders and uh, timelines and you do this between eight and five and you do this between two and five and i say mm, screw your you know screw your rules and 
your wants. I want to work between 2 and 2.45. And today that's all I'm going to do. And that's his ducky because I work for me. So if things don't get done, I don't ever have anybody else to blame but me. Kept it that way for quite a few number of years now. And, uh, wow, I was reading about currency the other day. Maybe it was today earlier. And it really struck me that sometimes currency, you can't even use it. So it doesn't help anything. And sometimes you can offer people money to do things and they'll still say, do it yourself. And it may not even be a matter of how much money that you offer somebody money to do something for. Maybe that person has uh, different ideas, you know. I don't do that kind of stuff, period. And your money ain't going to make me do it. And I'm not going to name any one particular thing. Let your imagination go where you want it to. This covers all kinds of honest uh, interactions between people. But when I was uh, not a homeowner myself, but I've roomed with homeowners in my life. And uh, wow, <laughs> the... The things that people do to buildings and abuse and and then there's this natural where life just wears things down. They didn't use the mortar properly, they didn't set it right. And, you know, 20 years later it starts to break down and then maybe a brick will collapse and you need to repair shit. Well... Some people panic over things like that. And the first thing they thought, oh, how I can't afford this. What the hell am I going to do? And what I learned how to do when I was young is find somebody that needed something done, but wanted something done or wanted something and put the two people together and let them, you know, trade. And sometimes I got something out of it and sometimes just doing it would set me up for a favor. And if people were all happy with what they received, I'd get two. So money, hmm. Hmm. I can't think of anything that money can actually acquire me that I can't trade for or hmm. get around money. There's, there's lots of ways to do it, but not with society as it functions now. You have to do banking and all that kind of garbage. But there's so many people that are willing to do that part of it that it makes it easy for people like me that don't like to do that not have to. <sighs> all that said, it's been a long life. Huh? 59, fine line, blah, blah, now, now, blah. <laughs> I got all tongue twisted on that one. That was fun. <laughs> oh. oh, hey. Mm. Ah, the delay. Okay, just obey. Mm. Yeah, not too many people saying too much on this happy dork day festive opportunity today. But mm, it's that time of year. Spring is right around the corner. And over here in this part of the world, it'll still be nippy in the air outside for mm, probably two more months. March and April tend to be a little nippy. And uh, then spring rolls around, and it, it I think the warmest it really gets here is like the low 70s. It might get 72 every now and again. But the daylight thing, wow, the sun's up from about, oh, in the in what month is that? June. I think it's like almost 20 hours out of the day we get daylight. So by by the time September rolls back around and you've had, you know, these long, long summer days for months, 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 the first bit of the first bit of winter is like, wow. And then that goes away in about two days and then you wish it was summer again. <laughs> But I'm from L.A., so I'm a little spoiled by the California sunshine that I grew up with that, for some reason, doesn't seem to be the same anymore. I've read a lot of horrible things about California. They call it California. I mean, wow. Yeah, I, re I remember things when they first started to change, you know, and we went from um, show me your ID to, 
you know, people are actually expecting this ID shit. Well, what the fuck is that about? You know, because when you turn 18, you can legally uh, go places that 16, 17 year olds weren't allowed to go if you had ID. <laughs> so, so, you know, that driver's license was, uh, I don't know, it was like a doorway to adulthood. Now, some people made it to adulthood without actually maturing, too. Let's not forget that part of the equation. <laughs> there were a lot of gigantic 16-year-olds that were, like, 12, driving cars on the interstate. <laughs> it was a trip. I remember... Uh, I, uh, my brother had a friend, and the group of us wanted to go to Orange County from where we were, which is about 30 miles. And Pete had his mom's, somebody's car. He was all in, I want to drive, let's go to Orange. So we went. And on the way back, he got all jumpy on the 605, well, not the 605, I guess the 91 to the 605. And... All of a sudden, he starts reading his uh, mileage speedometer out loud. 60, 70, 80, 90. Because <laughs> this idiot is doing 90 miles an hour in the direction of the state highway patrol office on the 605. <laughs> and he got nailed. <laughs> <laughs> and we laughed like a bunch of children because it was just the lamest place to do it at the lamest time. There's, there were certain places you could drive that fast and the CHP didn't hang out in those particular parts of interstate. But poor Pete, hey, he didn't listen. He was one of those that, I don't know, he thought if he didn't know it, it didn't exist. So... We stopped trying to talk to him, you know, just let him do what he wanted and just laughed at him when he got caught. And for if, whatever the reason, he never got the point that we were laughing at him. He thought we were laughing because what was happening was funny. And wow, we were, thought he was a complete moron. But we were in the car with him doing 90 miles an hour or so. You figure it out. But we didn't know that before we were doing it he kind of surprised us with that <laughs> but didn't think it was gonna go as far as a hundred or being pulled over by the cops but there you go the best laid plans of mice and dorks and i i say dorks because being in the car was an act of a dork with an idiot like that in the first place but I wanted to go to Orange that night, and I lowered my standards so that I could be a part of the bigger thing. Oh, let's see if the chatters are chattering again. Hey, Donna popped in. No, wait, Donna quit. Okay, my error. And we got Moose's leave. He'll be back in a minute. And we got uh, just nothing going on in the chat room at the dork table i am so sad hmm i was reminiscing about an old friend that struck me as a dork when i was a uh, teenager because when i was a teenager i never struck struck me that other people saw that in me because it was me i was being me and apparently whatever i thought dorks didn't wear levis and boots they wore, you know, pocket protectors and glasses, you know, horn rim glasses for ID purposes. You'd know what a dork was. And then as I got older, I started to realize that being a, called a name like that was a form of social, uh, how they cast you out of society and tag you with an ID. Eh, you're one of these. And, uh, most of the people that were dorks, they did have one thing in common. They didn't give a shit about what other people thought about whatever they did. 
no matter how ignorant or how brilliant it was, there was no like, oh yeah, yeah, no. Dorks are kind of weird. Don't take credit or want credit. They just do shit. And I think maybe at some point in life, um, you grow beyond acting out as a dork. And you, you just were one for a period of time in your life. And then, well, maybe you'll be a little awkward here and there as an adult. But but not not as completely as when you were young. And there weren't guidelines to define how society saw what you did. You know, and then maybe that's one of the catalysts that gets people to jump into, like, the groups, the religion, education, politics, anywhere where there's guns to protect you, you know. Well, crime, I suppose, too, on a level. It depends on what level of crime you're at, but apparently the television tells me everybody is a sick fuck and they're all breaking the law. Everybody, just look around you. They're laundering money. They're killing each other. They're raping. They're pillaging. And then I see this other side of life where I see links on the internet and people are living on the street in tents. Hmm. Which which one is real? Is it the movies are real or is it the real living is real? <laughs> hmm. I cannot figure it out, but uh, I finally updated and put up the dark table with Flash Somebody. Hmm. Does Bob have a GitHub? Let us ponder. I don't even know what that means. I guess Grimner's talking to Anti about all that interest in special stuff the nerds talk about. Because, you know, nerds are some smart people. Dorks, dorks are gifted, not all of them. We're not like all the same anything, except nerds. Nerdy people tend to be pretty quick. I wonder how many nerds we have in the real libertymedia.com chat room right now. Waiting to be identified, specified, labeled, and set free from the real world. Hey, the real world can be a drag. You ever notice that? You know, you're just sitting there minding your own business. And the next thing you hear is some freaking screeping comp car flying down the street doing like three times the speed limit. <laughs> and, and they're going to get donuts because they're going to have a break. And that's exactly, I've seen it with my own eyes. I was even, I told this story on the dork table, I'll shorten it. I was in Taos hitchhiking, got a ride from a a state, New Mexico state trooper, but he was an Englishman. He had been imported and Americanized and all that, but he still had his English accent. It was the wildest fucking thing. He said, look, I'll give you a ride to, um, to uh, Albuquerque, but you got to ride in the back. I can't put you up in the front. It's, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, insurance kind of a problem. If anything happens and you're in the front, my ass is fucked. So he says, if you want to ride, get in. So I did. I get in a, I hear I am crazy as fuck getting in a cop car with a cop. <laughs> Hitchhiking. And he had great tales to tell and stories and food in the back and drinks. And he said, help yourself. You want a sandwich and soda? And he dropped me off at a Waffle House. And, hey, you got you got any cash? I said, I don't know. I'm down to like a dollar. He threw me a few bucks and went, eh, go on. Stay out of trouble. And this is the police treating me like that. In, oh, it must have been about 1996, give or take. Uh, I would can't remember which trip it was returning from England, but I went through that that situation somewhere in the 90s, and it, it was a memory that stuck, and I, I just like to think about it every now and again. A nork. Oh, Rob is trying to invent new words on the RealLibertyMedia.com chat.
I don't know. Just didn't really feel. It's been such a month with all the drama, you know, and uh, people being pushed to their limit and not willing to listen anymore. I understand that for crying out loud. That's why I Iggy and <laughs> me and me and Vinny were having such a battle of wills. It was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, came to some decisions with things and. Moved a little bit forward. I think it helped the room in the long run. But, wow, what you got to do to progress, you know, because uh, I think if you don't recognize you have a problem, you can't do anything about a problem that you don't specifically tell people you got. So uh, what happened was an action was taken and people weren't, told about it first here's the internet for you this is what i mean people don't want to wait and give anyone an opportunity to explain what happened they're willing to listen to anybody's opinion about it in the interim until they get to the bottom of it well who did that blah, blah, hmm. and i started out with the whole thing with i don't really care it wasn't me I didn't do anything. I didn't start anything. I'm not involved in this crap. And then I go getting involved with this crap because <laughs> Vinny's my, my radio partner. And I don't regret any of it. You know, it just got a little boring doing it on the radio. Might be a little boring listening to me tell you my side of it now, too. I don't know. But it's on my mind. And, uh, uh-oh. We're getting into mute territory. Uh-oh. I wonder if Rob Works is going to mute me. Well, he didn't send me no stories to read, so he's stuck with the crap I think of. <laughs> Your punishment. <laughs> Your freedom, you know. You're free to do anything. See, this is what people aren't encouraged. Is you're free to do anything in life that you can live with. It all matters what you believe about the crap you do. You know, uh, I don't think a, a murdering person out there that goes around willy-dilly killing whoever irritates them, I don't think in their my mind, in their mind, they're doing anything wrong. They probably think they're helping the rest of us. <laughs> or they don't care at all one way or the other and whatever. But see, I've never physically seen that in a human life. I've only seen that in movies, you know. Jason Voorhees, who else? We got some really good ones. Michael Myers, uh, Eileen Warnos, uh, Freddy Krueger, who else? What? Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, we got some. We have some hellacious killers from the uh, fiction world to look upon and draw conclusions about reality from. And <laughs> it's just, for whatever reason, I don't know, people call me crazy all the time over it, and I always have. Uh, like, the bigger the crime, the less I believe what the crime is ever really took place. they just telling me it took place, and they made some second-rate photographs about, see, the crime scene, look at this, and you look at it, and for some reason, what I imagine and what I see don't mix. They They don't match. They're different and i'm gonna go with my um the way i i subjectively feel about what i look at and i'm gonna trust you telling me what i see <laughs> not mute mutt doofus oh okay i don't know it's hard to read the chat when <laughs> a mutt ter okay we're getting into mutt territory <laughs> I got lost. Here, let me let me load my pot. You know what? I think I'll roll one. And uh, I will continue my observations of this fine operation called reallibertymedia.com. Quite a milestone to have people disagreeing so deeply about so much and get it sorted and worked out where you can be civilized to each other. I thought a lot of that. Uh, I don't need to participate in conversation with every Tom, Dick, and Henry in the world. Uh, some people don't like me and vice versa. 
you know, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. We're not all meant to see eye to eye. Well, we're not going to be judged for not getting along by whoever's on the reallibertymedia.com chat jury. That's what happened was an isolated uh, situation brought on over a long period of time. And uh, both of them are. And some people are just, I don't know, hmm, more involved than others. You know, it's like. I'm not involved in any of that, so it don't really bother me. But it bothers other people, and because of that, then it bothers me. Go f see. Is that hypocrisy, or is that a mood? I mean, you know, it just depends on how indoctrinated I feel will dictate the measures I'll take to stop something. And... I've yet to see anything since cause that is uh, d uh, dangerous enough to be stopped. You know, um, the stuff we do on the RLM chat, even though some of it is rude and some of it is ignorant and some of it is childish, uh, that's the way people are going to see the other guy. And there's lots of people that see the stuff I recognize in one sense differently they're gonna go wait a minute no this guy says all kinds of brilliant wonderful things and you just aren't smart enough to understand him okay um uh, i've heard that too but i heard that out of the guy i'm talking about not the people that i'm talking to hmm. ah look at this i don't know who he's talking about a nice crowd of Losers. Hey man, every people are what they want to be. You know, it's not my impression of you does not change you at all. You're still whatever you really are. So if you're living in a trailer and you, you know you uh, you work at Starbucks, but you don't tell me that. You tell me something really impressive about how you you know you own Microsoft and. Your mom's the Mayor McCheese of Disney World. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're all free to be as insane as insanity will allow on the interwebs. And uh, some people really believe that if it's typed, if you write it, therefore it's true. Well, not really. I was rolling. Sorry about that. I scraped my marijuana face across the microphone thingy-ma-bobber, trying to be clever. Anyway, <clears throat> oh, a nice crowd of losers is defined as voters because the indoctrination is working. Well, you know, I guess if I was a coward in life and I was terrified and afraid of uh, all the strangers out there that you know could do me harm I guess I would have uh, stayed in California and just been a shut out you know not hid away and hey there's the cat never faced anybody I got my Dr. Cooper at my feet at the moment very strange he was very ill. I'm going to interrupt for a Dr. Cooper update. Yeah, a week and a day ago, he was on death's door, and now he's jumping up on tables, begging for milk like a kitten. So, whatever these doctors and Cirque did with all their positive vibrations and all that, and hard work and skill, they kept my cat alive. And I know I talk a bunch of shit about cat the cat owns me you know nah it <laughs> i do a few little things for him to keep him alive that's as a human if i don't want him fend him for himself i have to do these things and cats and dogs are different they have different rituals cats are more patient and they're uh they're meaner <laughs> my thingamabobber oh no the indoctrination is working, says Van Meter. I'm missing some of the text because got a few people I don't, I don't enjoy what they write. So I, I just stopped reading. No more. Done. Mm. 
trying to light a smoke here. But uh, well, I'm one of those old-fashioned kind of weirdos that thinks that, you know, if you're going to bitch about the parts of the game and not the game, you're missing the point of what the problem truly is. You know, like, uh, oh, if, if all I ever did was, uh, like, nag about the Arabs. And the Arabs are just as much of a problem as the Jews are. The Jews hide behind lies and stories that the Arabs don't hide behind. Their their set of story lies are different than the Jews. The Jews, you can see what they do, and you can hear how they report what they do, and you can look at it, and if you can come out on their side of that crap, wow, then you support of the wrong side of the story. But then again, here we are, you know. How many of us understand that there, it's all bullshit? The people in control and power of all this decision-making shit, look at the decisions they make for the public. Forced inoculations. I don't care at what level this is at at this point in history. They've been doing this inoculation shit for 170 years, give or take. And there's even, I don't know if they're real or not, but there's information on the internet that's showing the the problem spiked after the freaking inoculations. These things brought this crap back. They're, they're telling you the opposite of what they're doing. They've apologized for experimenting on us. They've done blah, 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 who? <sighs> Here we are. Oh, man, 2019, right? Donald Trump is in the White House. Some freaking idiot with a mohawk is in North Korea. Some French motherfucker that eats caviar for breakfast is in charge there. Some old guy in a dress is in London. Some washed-up game show host is in the White House. Nancy Pelosi is drooling over becoming the next... POTUS. Oh, fuck me. I mean, it, on a level of reality, I mean, how how can I take any of this crap seriously? I mean, wh- what good comes from all this political shit that we've all been engulfed in all our life, you know? They don't seem to do much for the people, but they sure like to live good and fly around and eat food and spend, spend, spend on what? What what do they got to show for, what, $900 trillion? <laughs> Wars everywhere. Manufacturers of bombs making freaking profits. Profits in an IOU-based economy. These idiots are making profit. Ah, dork cakes. I got, I got abandoned by mental. No, he was on the hour. He must have had something to do. I would say, cause mental is a, mental is a busy fella, and he sometimes doesn't have a Saturday at all to check in and say hi. I he said be back later, but uh, I know mental, so. Hmm. But it's always good to see him pop in and visit with us and. You know, listen to either what I'm reading or making up or not making up or whatever you call what I do. Because life is so bizarre. When you tell other people how you lived your life, the first thing they're going to do is compare it to their own and say, No, normal people don't do those things. But let us ponder what. Because that word is so thrown around, but, you know, average, typical, boring, not a aggra- Like me, what I've turned into in my old days is obviously the opposite of the rebel I used to be. Because, for one, it's a lot, it would be a lot of work to go out in public and, what, what do you need, need to do to be a rebel, I suppose, would be to be disagreeable. Now, wait a minute. I've not always been so well known for verbally being disagreeable. That's not true. Uh, Unless you ask me. If you ask me a question, I'll tell you. But 
there weren't a lot of people asking because they they could look at the hair and they they judged the hair so the words didn't matter they knew what i was about and uh i think the uh the conflicts and all that government crap never really didn't really um i never felt involved in it or part of it or stigmatized by it you know that was a Obviously, to me, it was a business. I lived in a military town and made a freaking living off the military. So, you know, they were my uh, captive audience. and They wanted wheels and deals to save money so they didn't have to go in debt because they had a broken pipe and they flooded a basement or something. Yeah. Hey, can the hippie find a, somebody that'll trade me for an engine me remodel or whatever it was at the time? You know, rebuild my engine for me, man, and I'll build you a so-and-so. And I had this knack for having the time to find where do people need these. How do you run into people like that? And it was just weird. I had this, like, network of bartenders and cab drivers, people that would you know, run into lots of storytellers and questions. And I just got along with a lot of people. Now, because of the opposite of that, the not having to deal with, you know, bartenders and cab drivers and all this other interaction, it's kind of the opposite of the, what it used to be. So, I look at it as kind of being rewarded in my older days for the decent things that I managed to accomplish in my mm. on my way to the place I'm at now you know because you can change roads anytime you want and do anything that you want to do mm. hey Vinnie Spooner just you know, you just got to understand that. Uh, let me open up my wire. You just got to understand that in some areas of life, there truly are limits. And uh, we're not taught to appreciate limits. We're we're taught to defy limits that, you know, as though uh, being able to run a certain speed, although it's impressive as fuck and all that, it's very competitive, um, Oh, he messed up the time. I didn't even turn on the what you call it. So I just turn on wire to catch Vinny. And besides, I've told you, it's when I get alone, I just get, uh, I start rimming and this and about how things were, how they do. So I opened up my wire so I could get my controversial partner, Vinny the Poot, on here. So let me let him know. Let me just try calling him and see if he answers. I screwed that up just a little bit. But I started the this show out wrong. I don't know. I was not doing my job properly somehow. But, well, no, he's not on here yet. Wait a minute. Let me type to him and see if he connects. He says he got the time wrong. So, hmm. Yeah, that's what he said. I messed up the time. But he said that about six minutes ago. So, who knows? Vinny's Vinny. Yeah, it took a minute to burn. Ah, there he goes. He's calling up onto the show. Let's see here. Give him a second. And see what old Vincenzo has going on. I don't have him on mute. Let's see. We're not connecting on the... Let me look at my radio volumes. Hey, Vinny. No, Vinny. All right, let me try closing and rebooting my wire. Wire's been acting up on us all lately for some reason. So just bear with us a few minutes on this extravaganza into getting Vinny on the dork table with your host, Flash Somebody. This is ringing, so, but until I hear him connect, let me see. I might have to change my headphone setting. I got on headphones. Um, voice input. There we go. I had it set wrong again for the incoming call. I think this will do it. And uh, I heard the tap, so let me see here. 
Maybe we can put it back there. How's that? Vince? Oh, Vincenzo. Hmm. No, I'm going to put it on voice meter and see if that works. Hold but on. That's there he on. is. I was trying to get to the buttons over here. Yay, the buttons over here. Yeah, yeah. it's on melody I, I got to change my microphone. I forgot. So yeah, I, no, go back I, and I was trying to get yeah, that yeah. answer and not drop the call again. And, I, and I'm trying out something different here, some uh, 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 Bluetooth wow. headset with a mic on it. So I wonder how well that sounds downstream. Well, well, you did quite the show yesterday, Mr. Focus, on one idea. Yeah. And start somewhere and end somewhere, man. So I, I think yeah. that if you listen to what you did yesterday a couple times and catch the shit that you think is good, write that. You know, and yeah, put I've it all in the right uh, order. I listened to the first uh, section of it and got a few pages of notes, but then... Because you know how I talk, I skip around. So I bring <laughs> yeah. that back together, but I don't want it to be too long. But uh, I've started, and I also want to, um, I don't even know what you'd call it, it to uh, kind of uh, condense. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to call it, but I want to be a soft sell. In other words, give a presentation where, uh, you know, anybody that's going to read it, that'd be on uh, opposing ideas on where this whole Bundy thing stands would at least maybe uh, be able to ca uh, cause to pause anyway. Well, you know, I know somebody pretty well that works in that their area of mentality right. at her job. Right. Did you know that? What I'm going to have to do is write it and have uh, somebody proofread it and probably uh, right. edit but it for me. Did you know that she, she works with teams of people that do what you're looking to have done? So she yeah. knows how to present that's what I'm telling you that she knows how to present <clears throat> shit to get a certain response from a certain type of person that's going <clears throat> to see it. You know, uh, wow. this JJ McNabb, no. uh, and she said that she would pass the, uh, if I do a, a YouTube or a blogcast or whatever, she would, uh, she'd share it. She says, she'd believe it. a lot of people would be interested in that. So the, uh, the audio is already there, but I, a lot of people are not going to listen to, uh, uh, you know, to, hours and 20 minutes of right, uh, right. audio. Yeah. Most people won't. So no. what I got to do is can bring that in together real short and sweet. Now, J.J. McNabb uh, is, you know, a national figure in authority. So I don't know. I've uh, never heard had of black, it. You know, you know, she had blocked my other account for being snarky. I think I told you that. Or I said it on air anyways. But anyways, yeah, that, this is... Uh, uh, I can't be frivolous with this and... Uh, even talking to other people, like re-engaging re with uh, Santilli there, he's being a, a real jerk, doing troll troll t uh, type posting, and then uh, calling other people trolls, calling me a troll. He's Fine. put me in the same category as the the patties, so I'm a, a Putin patty, I guess. <laughs> well, see, this goes back to the the premise of if people didn't tell lies we wouldn't be where we are now and that's the bottom well, of it right there if if we were just telling instead of like in the in the court where if it's on the record it's the truth period that gives them room to lie instead of being a stand-up living carbon-based life form and be able to prove in a simple way what you show other people but no, we've got all this uh, multi-level secret meetings for your own good double talk. Yeah. And people have <clears> gone... Bundy Ranch, that's what they did. They had sealed hearings, close to the public, uh, sealed documents, all that stuff. Now, if because they're, they're bound by these rules of the bar and they're supposed to be... That's why I say I, I don't like to debate because there's like rules of debate, right? Uh, and it it hinders truth in the uh, exchange of information. Now, if courts were to be uh, wanting truth, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, then, um, you know, everybody ought to be able to come in there, prosecutors, defense, whatever, and say whatever they want to say, don't matter. But when you get in, uh, well, in the Bundy Ranch case, you had Gloria Navarro telling people they can't talk about this, can't talk about that, can't talk about the snipers, can't talk about the surveillance, and uh, the prosecution's the whole time saying, 
you know, uh, you're on a fishing expedition. There's no such thing. And, and uh, lo and behold, I, well, everybody already knew in 2014, it was, uh, you know, the, the word was going around. I, they come with these cameras. Look, we found these and we got them. And, you know, uh, so it was not a secret. Mm -hmm. But like Emmett Bundy said, whoever asked the first question, uh, <laughs> you know, wins. Yeah. So, yeah, and the, and the uh, prosecution has the advantage. Yeah. So, Ooh, yeah, you, appeal is written like a, an op-ed. Well, your uh, friend Donna Van Meter is on the Real Liberty Media chat trying to mention this shit to you, but you're yakking. So you probably I ain't reading it. Good morning. Well, you're very popular in the you know, electronic world there, Mr. Vincenzo. Put your big, you know, big top hat on to keep over your big old brain. You know. Well, I can tell you this: if I wasn't uh, on radar on a big way before, yeah, then I definitely have come on the radar now at the at some upper levels. Uh, but I, you know, all these uh, all these years now, I I've been pretty consistent in uh, in what I say. Yeah, uh, yeah. never never you know uh, incite violence. Never go. Uh, I'm not going to go kill somebody because you know. No, I no, 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 no. And I'm not going to blow up any buildings and. Matter of fact, if somebody came to me and says, uh, man, I got some buddies and we got some dynamite and we're going to go blow up a building and kill a bunch of people. And uh, really? I'd be like, yeah, I would have to go like, hmm, these guys sound like they're really dangerous and it uh, wouldn't bother them a bit to kill anybody. So I'd have to go with a wink and a nod probably until I got clear. Mm. And uh, then I'd do whatever I had to do to... Uh, arrest the brand. so are you are you going all mental on us for a reason or do you just need a cause every week <clears throat> am i mental on something i thought i was at the same thing that I oh was you're a, you are so in my opinion to me Vinny. i mean this yeah. this is really well, important to you 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 take this uh thing with the uh the honesty okay to the level that I take Cirque. And if you tell lies, then you might as well just say, fuck it. It ain't worth doing it. And well, I see... Okay, well, I'm just saying, I this is a level of honesty I recognize you. And it's irritating to other people. I'm one of the people that's kind of like... I don't know. I'm I'm Because I do radio, I can yak like a moron about it. But the reality of it, I get really bored really quick of all the details of something so simple as tell the fucking truth. Quit being a liar, dumbass. What's so fucking hard about it? You know, what do you think? Gonna... JJ to make that doesn't like her either. Yeah, I uh, uh I got shut down on one of her accounts. But let me let me let me ask you a question, Flash. You know why the, the Bundy Ranch is so important? Oh, I, I understand why. Because it's the yeah. first time that somebody has faced yeah, off man. with the Fed about something illegal the Fed's doing, and they're still around to tell the story and continue to go move yeah. forward. Because if the Fed had their way, they'd shut them all up, and uh, nobody would know why or what happened, like usual. They'd magic yeah. bullet us with some magic story about crap. They saved yeah. the turtle, fucking idiots. Well, this uh, let me let me tell you what the deal is here. So eh, I was the, taking a guess. But yeah, you know, you're coming close, and and you the first part is right, exactly what you said. Had these people not showed up, nobody would have knew about it. They would have been dead or in jail for the rest of their life. Uh, they'd have been moved off the land. The cattle would have been gone, and probably by now, four years later, they would have blowed over, and they'd have been in there developing the land, taking the water, uh, and selling it. So whoever has the water rights, uh, if the somebody upstream like uh, their water rights fade or whatever, however that works, and uh, then it goes downstream is the way I understand it to the next person who has it. So Clive and Bundy's the last one. Now the importance in all of this, this resistance and standing in the gap, this uh, uh, peaceful pushback or uh, this uh, the grievances that they have to uh, say, look. Now, let, let me start first and say, if Clive and Bundy was wrong, he, he would still have the right, and all the people that came would still have that right to say, stop. 
to the government. No, not because you say so. No, uh, we want this sorted out. And just because they've, uh, you know, made laws or legal statutes and uh, through the BLM and changed the process on which uh, how many cattle run and how often and how long on, in this section and that, it's all a bunch of trickery. But I, I get to the point. The most important part about this, had this failed, had they convicted these people, this was the test, was the first and the second amendment. Now, Judge Gloria Navarro says the, uh, if you show up at a protest with a gun, then that's a threat against law enforcement. Um, <laughs> people are, are interpreting uh, stuff from, you know, that the Constitution says and redetermining the definition and, and so forth. So the uh, that that this right here would uh, most people don't realize it, but it affects the entire country. And they're still trying to put them down with this appeal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and if the appeal goes through and they bring them back to court, um, there will be a lot more to follow. I promise you there is probably uh, maybe a couple hundred or a hundred, at least maybe uh, uh, unindicted uh, uh, co-conspirators yeah. and superseding ind indictments and all that stuff. They stack all this stuff and they don't like just bring them all out at once. They'll throw out a few, maybe a dozen or two dozen. And, you know, they got more in their back pocket. So if this one gets kicked out, okay, that's all right. We got two more for that one. Now, like I said, if this uh, if this appeal goes, it'll there's probably enough people that are so extreme that it'll it'll kick off uh, very possibly kick off some civil uh, civ type of civil war, maybe in smaller factions. But it, it would be hard for these people to organize to be able to carry out any type of uh, rebellion. I mean, who are you going to fight? Who are going to kill your neighbor? Oh, that one's a Democrat. We better kill that one. You know that sort of thing. He communist. That's so Pete Santilli's over there saying, "Oh well, Suzanne Postle is a is a communist. I guess you must be too." So, well, there's there there are people, Vincent, mm -hmm. that do not understand what it really is. They think it if. The definition is different than the real the real world around them, but it's called something else. Then it is something else. But we all live like that. It's all socialism. Are you kidding me? Society. Get right. Come on. Get with your. You know. Get in tune here, because you're. Uh, it's like differences in the isms, right? <clears throat> well, I wrote something on. Uh, I wrote something on real liberty. Dot org. I'm trying to find us regarding your comment thing here, what we're talking about. I had an opinion about it. Good. Uh, but yeah, but I wrote it down, but well, you know me, I forgot what it was. So I was going to go look on the real LO and read it because I thought it was like matched what you're talking about. Hold on. Talk for sick and more now. Keep looking. All right. So yeah, I'm talking with the. Uh... Uh, Donna, talking to, you know, her engaged over there with J.J. McNabb, uh, you know what, what a dangerous person she is. And everybody has, they, they've got all these different categories to put any, everybody in, you know, the little difference, the sovereign citizen, the militia, the, uh, the IRS, uh, you know, anti-IRS people. There's, uh, let's see, uh, I still got her open over here on a, don't know if I do. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah. Oh. JJ McNabb. Uh oh. So they, they've got to categorize everybody. And the left right now is really determined to uh silence the uh the narrative and language. <clears throat> is it on here? Let's see. Yeah. May not be. Where we got ISIS in America. This seems to be uh this is called the uh, program on extremism. <clears throat> I thought I had a list of uh, what type of people they're categorizing in this link here. Go ahead and talk, and I'll look for it. Okay, because I found what I wrote that I think has yeah. to do with your point, and you, you might uh -huh. not see how it connects, but I'm going to try. I wrote earlier on the realliberty.org, <clears throat> with any luck, the state will breathe out gun-loving and freedom in just one more generation. At the rate things are going, I would say we're, we here 
are the last of our kind, whatever our kind means. <laughs> well, you know, there's a lot of different of our kinds and other kinds and their kinds. And what you're saying is, is almost true. But there's other implica uh, things that need to be implemented first. It's like they've been moving people off the land. So what you see going on in the West, Clive and Bundy wasn't the first. Uh, no, 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 to, no. To he was the off, one that uh, resisted. Yeah. Yeah, example. Nobody after example. else. So what had, you got to do yeah. is you have to move the people off the land. So this has been a plan for a long time, a long time. bringing everybody into uh, concentrated population areas, right? Uh, yeah. And then it's easier to pay, make the uh, the mind uh, milled for these people. Get them all into public education systems so that they're taught the same thing. This when when they. When you're saying, oh, it's good, we should save the animals. Everybody wants to save the animals. Nobody wants to see a poor little snail darter die. I mean, yeah. come on, right? Yeah, yeah right. Just yeah. Little, little minnows. But see, what you're saying, it'd be like, it yeah. might take more than a generation because they've been working slowly uh, on this. But it was a... And this is what surprises me is that they are, are so willing to push. But yeah. what they're doing, they go for small numbers, pick them off one at a time. Yeah. Uh, who said it? If they showed up for if Kim and made a, arrested a, a million people one day uh, that would uh, no there'd be rebellion everywhere but if they right. get them one yeah. a million people one at a time hey, everybody else is afraid to uh you know stand in with them no, so i mean where I where do you uh where do you draw the line you've got the people on the extreme that yeah. are ready to to go to war they've got their guns and their bunkers and their ammo piled up and and food but well, uh, you know they don't have it. They don't have an understanding of history. And you know how many innocent people die. Oh, here we go. The innocent but ones Vince, die first. Vince, Vince, it's say, it's uh -huh. not that. You're. I don't agree with that because of this. Me and Hans both know the same history. The difference between me and Hans is I know better, and am capable of looking at it more openly. Anyway, I found something I wrote on the real liberty.org it's not popular yeah. people aren't reading anything to write over there anymore so I'll I'm go feel, look at it. i seen something you wrote i'm feeling other, well right? yeah i've got i got my hardcore 12 but i mean new people there's not i was getting lots of uh traffic when i would write because i like to write and uh entertain people you know it's like yeah. not comedy but it's like you know the the real way i look at this mess that we're all participating in at some level or another but uh, <laughs> you're on my thing anyway i, I wanted to read it because i gave it a cool name how can you tell <laughs> i got the uh the thing bangs in my headphones when i get a uh -huh. thing on rlo because i don't use it that much so if oh. somebody's on there i want to know about it because so uh, when somebody clicks onto your your uh, timeline over there it beeps for you huh? yeah it gives me a bell ding, ding. Oh. but it, hey go to uh, mine let's so see if it works on mine is there a way you got to do that or what i don't know that's what i mean cool. how did you do it it's in the Come setting my timeline. Huh? but it's in the set i wanted to read something this thing made me oh, giggle we'll do it. and and then i'll, we'll, I'll give you back okay. yeah i'm going then, back to your timeline but i'll give you back the the thing after you brought this out of me because i want to brag now Good. but I, I just wrote it two days ago and i called it beating a dead horse or vote until you see it doesn't work <laughs> it's not real long but it said people mm -hmm. refuse to see the difference between what they are told is real and what is real depending on others to decipher their life experience as they allow the politicians to make rigid one-size-fits-all rules and to punish those who refuse to comply to the orders of the government they claim they choose. They say words like freedom and peace when there is little to be found anywhere on earth. The controls of government and their agents hit overreach many years ago but with the aid of msm and religion the good sheep will be rewarded and the bad sheep well they will be shunned by the slave masters that want total control over every action a man takes 
in 2019, the idea that has the super country in a knot is building a wall that will never be built. And it is irrelevant at this time because the damage has already been done. You can't unfuck something unless you admit you fucked it up in the first place. Nobody has to this time taken responsibility for the immigration troubles they claim exist. It is one more way to keep the lives of the Fed going. Good luck with being treated in a humane way by the nastiest government on earth. Hmm. And I get these ideas from reading the chat on uh, RLM. And then I write about them and let them, you know, let the idea go wherever it takes me. And I feel I'm in, trying to be entertaining, but that's really how negatively I see the results of all this shit we do as a collective. It's just pitiful. If this is the best we can do, we're fucked. And it's all because of the lies. If you didn't lie, you wouldn't get bad results. Yeah, but that's what the uh, the rule is, is to lie, lie, lie. And when you get caught lying, you say, well, uh, it wasn't really a lie. It was kind of like I just didn't re really say it right. I misinterpreted uh, the rules. <laughs> yeah. It depends on what it is, after all. Yeah. Yeah. See, uh, so how can you control all these people with such obvious bullshit? IOUs. Hey, you take my IOU? Are you out of your mind? I want cash. <laughs> they, they, I, did. I, I pulled a receipt out last night. And I, was yeah. to somebody. I said, yeah, uh, here, this is an IOU. It's good for uh, whatever I write down on there. And I'll pay you whenever I pay. In the meantime, just hold on to this piece of paper right here. Right? That's kind of what it is. Except for just more fancy. Fancier. Oh, yes. Very offensive. Mm. But you know what I'm talking about. See, there's, and there's most everybody in the reallibertymedia.com that is not, uh, the chat room, that is not a, a bot. Almost everybody in that room understands the principles that we discuss openly at the Dork Table program. Oh, hey, thanks, Cowboy Tech. Uh, Cowboy Tech's being all nice. He's a nice guy. Hey, um, Cowboy. He was yeah, nice he's, for a while, and everybody else was. And and he's a big tech Maybe guy. Maybe not so much mad because he's not. <clears throat> he he's too uh, kind of a person, I think. And he's <laughs> a uh, and he's a tech and guy. So if you need your hardcore tech questions when he's around, ask him. He knows. He's good with his computer stuff. Hey, That's I right. gotta see if this mic, is a, how this thing works here. Yeah. This is the mute button because I need to cough. Is this it? Am I mute? Hello. Hello. I hear you. Me? I hear you. Okay, you could hear me. Can Not hear cough. Me now? I... I'm gonna count to. I'm gonna count to five. One, okay. two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Did it? Did it mute? I heard five, six, seven. I heard all of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> We interrupt the Dork Table podcast for important technical upgrades on the reallibertymedia.com. Right. Thank you I for your patience. Let's try this one. Did that do anything? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I haven't heard you mute yet. Right. I talked I'm over you while you were talking. I'm talking over I'm you now. Buttons. I don't know if you can button. hear you. <laughs> Can Hello? You, can, can you hear you me? Hear, I can hear you. Can you hear me? This is this is a shit storm we're brewing here. What are we doing? Stop experimenting. Well, we're talking about the dirty dogs. It's <laughs> on our fire hydrants. Yeah. Well, see, it's a, the indoctrination crap. You know, if you if you support the state and you think the state can fix the problem, <clears throat> first thing you might want to consider on that side of the fence is who made the problem. <laughs> and and you, these, you know, well, I'm sorry. Well, go ahead. And, well, the politicians and the newspapers and the TV, they've joined forces because they're own all owned by the same people to tell us the same bullshit. And it, right? If it 
can't be taken fucking seriously at that point. And once you see that they're just writing scripts and reading the same shit over and over to everybody like a, a bunch of chimpanzees, it's sickening. I don't want to be treated you like an animal. What? That, that, that government in itself, uh, well, it can get out of control real quick, and it generally does. That's the nature of the beast. But the idea of governance in a sense of uh, maintaining, uh, I mean, roads, everybody likes to say, uh, who will build the roads? Um, sure, out here where I'm at, um, like, like my little road down there where I used to be at, uh, I could have maintained that forever. Maybe there'd be enough people that just maintain a section. But um, when you get into super highways and interstates and, you know, there it goes way beyond. But the problem is, it's not that people are being stolen from to, to pay for this because their income tax is going to pay interest that uh, on this uh, phony money that they put out. So that's people think that my taxes. Yes, I pay my taxes and uh, I'm paying for that. Well, no, r really, it's not. Uh, the roads are coming from excise taxes and uh, gas taxes. And you get to the county level, you got bridge taxes that you got to pay when you renew your vehicle every year, uh, road tax, all these other um, things. Now, ideally, the, the highways are supposed to be paid for by the commercial traffic. And that's why there's a difference between a motor vehicle and an automobile. Uh, 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 a motor vehicle is a commercial code. Uh, automobile it, you know, they used to call, uh, well, I have a conveyance, you know, a, a buggy or tin uh, Lizzie, a, a horseless carriage. Yeah. So the words, the words really are not transferring that people would assume that's the same thing, an automobile and a motor vehicle, but uh, no. no. So they've got you in on that as a private person. And I wish I'd have, I'm going to have to go deep. I meant to, to pull these links up. There is court cases. There's a, a list of court cases about a foot long on the computer at least it says um case after case after case it says you don't have to have a license for to for the right of travel but i'm going to tell you what if you go out there and run around with a car with no plates and no license you're going to end up in jail more often than not because and i've seen them just deny it this one guy here mennonite he says uh no i don't have to have a license they said well too bad we're keeping you in jail and they did yeah they, they don't follow the rules. They take you to... Who's going to argue with being... Come on. It's such a fucking scam by a bunch of bullies with guns oh. and badges. Like children. They ain't much different than schoolyard bullies. You know, only they'll shoot you if you uh, resist them now. They're, they're being... They're being improved to be more... Uh, uh, attacking. They're more aggressive. They're ruder they used to have a sense of you know self-discipline and not judge your appearance on the crime they needed to you know get a nail for that night so they can meet their fucking quota i saw a thing in the internet about the prison in a certain state suing the state for not having enough prisoners to keep the place at maximum uh, occupancy like it was a, a hotel or a freaking dog farm I mean mm. we've you know as human beings in in this free speaking English world that I came from I don't want to go back to it no 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 you know, I would want to live anywhere besides Mark I tell you but there's the a lot of ideas and dreams of uh, expatriation to uh, wherever down uh, Honduras or Costa Rica, or, yeah, uh, Ecuador. Hey. But um, Mental I'm going to tell you, Americans have been, uh, you know, a steady diet of, of uh, people across the world that, that gives them upset stomach. They don't want it no more. So uh, first thing that's going to happen is somewhere down there, Central America or South America, um, when uh, things go bad, It'll be the, the uh, and I hate to say this, but it, it'll be the white man that, that uh, takes it. It's the, the white man has become the enemy now. Yeah. It, it's ridiculous to see that. You know, I'm white. Uh, uh, I'm telling how many different nationalities okay. I got in. In 13 generations from 
1680 something. Yeah. There's, uh, I think, no, actually 11 generations. Okay. That's okay. not very many in that But movie. Vince, 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 there's uh, a certain personality on the Real Liberty Media that's constantly preaching all that history crap that he knows about all those great memories of history, you know, and doesn't really understand that there's more to it than just this guy was lied. We were lied to about this particular German guy. I won't name Hitler. And we were, but that doesn't say that he didn't go through with a lot of the shit that they said he did, which kind of balances out to hate him again. <laughs> he was for his people. He did for his own. And he had to get rid of the Jewish bankers to do it. But he still needed banking to do it. So we're being hustled again. It, it's part real and part fantasy. It did happen, but it didn't happen the way you were told it yeah. happened. And yeah, all the people the Jews that... that were killed, the, the, the Jews that were killed were uh, the the common... Probably, I guess, maybe... I don't know your bloodline, but I would assume that you would probably maybe had fit into just the common Jew. Maybe your family would have been extinct there. But uh, they, there is a, a line of Jews that came out of Germany that uh, are still, you know, they're descended still in, in working power today. They're at least uh, what they did in the past and in the history is causing the operation of uh, how things work today. today. Right, but I mean, Vince. I, German, we brought German, the Germans over here, you know. But depending on that so it their ideology on, continued with the space program the cia all that stuff it depends on where you mind. get your input from to hear what you hear because you can get equal sides of anything on the internet you can, yeah. you can prove that george bush was a club-footed lesbian member of the golfing switz team it's there no, somebody's proof Look, what I mean is, no, no matter how stupid or ridiculous you want your fact to be, or it, it, or it is, you can prove it on the internet. It doesn't matter what it is. Well, so that's it, uh, that's it, a piling of information. And, uh, right, but if I want, I can make the compartmentalizing a bunch of stuff over here, and then you got to uh, exclude this. And, yes. I don't know, so, so throw that away. It's just like yeah, science yeah, and exactly. Say. And we all do it, depending on what we've been taught about it. So to keep us fighting amongst ourselves about crap, whoop, whoop, doesn't matter any fucking more anyway. It happened. It was a long time ago. It's over. If you but and I were there, we would not have survived. You, probably not. Uh, but you don't fit the master race, and I have rheumatoid arthritis, but so I would have been excluded. Even though I'm... Uh, white, blue eyes, and, and all that. <laughs> yeah. you know, but uh, now, you, you went to uh, the bunker thing me. and survived it. See, you weren't supposed to do that. You don't know it, but that's the truth. That thing wasn't supposed to happen the way it did. And the men that went there, and you were one of them, made the change. That tipped the scale. He got support out of common man with no badges. People paid attention. <laughs> don't let this thing get pushed aside by this fucking government. It will, too. It'll Like the magic bullet with Kennedy. They just tell the same crap over and over until people get bored of hearing it, Vinny. And I wonder if they got guards on uh, John, uh, <laughs> Governor Conley's grave in Texas. I don't he's know. still got that bullet in him. I think that's in his <laughs> or something. No, yeah, yeah. How? He, he re this family refused to, uh, the autopsy to have it extracted. Kennedy had the back of his head blown off from the front. You explain that to me. It's just, the answer I finally saw made a lot more sense. It was horrible. Yeah, I think there were uh, several teams. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know what we ought to do? We ought to, uh, well, I think it required that we would uh, have to do some research and get some of the uh, uh, theories. It's already been done. A number of them. It's well, already no, been done. No, no, no. Listen, what I'm saying is that... Uh, we, we'd want to have, you know, a list for conver topics of conversation. But, uh, you know, Chuck O'Chelly, uh, they call him the uh, the blind JFK researcher. Mm. So he's uh, probably a leading expert right. on the JFK. And I've, I've seen a link that, that goes as far as to identify 
that it was the CIA that had marksmen and they did a map of the area where he was shot and showed you where the marksmen were <laughs> right down to the yeah. the guy in the sewer that shot the him sewer, from the yeah. front uh-huh and he clipped I, the uh, clipped the light pole i think maybe one of them did and there was uh how many three teams the grassy knoll and the sewer right I forget but, some other people it, see, it's all been exposed, but the, now the people that are alive today, the bulk of them don't give a fuck, don't know, didn't change their day any to, what? Don't even know who Kennedy was. Don't know what a silver certificate is. The, the whole thing's been changed through school. These kids are growing up being taught guns are bad. <laughs> because bad people use them to... <clears throat> Well, yeah, in the movies, maybe. I don't. I, where's all I've this fucking to tell gun this violence? Story to protect the uh, the innocent, but there was this fellow that uh, uh, had a pellet gun, a pellet pistol, you know, CO two, and he left it with a friend somewhere and says, uh, "Mail that uh, down the line there at a later date." And the guy says to the other guy, "You can't ship." guns in the mail and firearms and uh they've got uh pellets in there and ain't them things got explosive devices behind them and uh just the ridiculousness of what what this person thinks uh air pistol is you know there's definition it used to be a 22 a rim fire was not considered a fire okay um, it has to be center fire and a person uh that's on parole Used to, they could have black powder. I don't know about it anymore. They could have a shotgun. And they can even have a heart rifle uh, if it wasn't center fire. So, um, yeah, everything changes. The, a gun's a gun now. I guess if you, uh, I don't know if you put a, a pipe and together and blew through it with enough force, uh, would that be a, you know, to, to uh, deliver a projectile look vince what, what i'm saying what i'm addressing here isn't the history of the assassination it's the results of the modern day because they lie to us about everything so they can just set the course they want society to go in write the laws along the way and just out wait until you're dead and then get their way through the people that you know, have been bred into it in the fashion they want it in. And that's nonsense. That's society running amok, man. These motherfuckers are insane. And as long as we're fighting amongst ourselves, we'll never see that. See? And there's not a lot of holdouts on Real Liberty Media that talk that stupid state shit any fucking way. Like, it's 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 okay. It's all right. Maybe I shouldn't say it that way. But my experience with state, I, they just want money. They want their end of your taxes. It's money, 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 money. It's got nothing to do with being a human life form. It's got to do with cash. So I don't respect that. I think money's just a big joke. <laughs> ah, there's other you, ways you to. You gotta live. have something for exchange. Um, because you yeah. can't carry a hundred chickens with you to go uh, buy you however much electricity you're going to need for a month or whatever. Well, see, we're in right. an overpopulated world where the majority is undereducated and their talents aren't brought out of them anymore at a young age. So they'll be taught to pursue something that will feed you in times of no cash. <laughs> yeah, you better have yeah. it. Like uh, seeds. Grimner's got some seeds stored. I've heard him talk about There you go. I, I think I got my, uh, my yeah. long-term storage, uh, food storage back up to two months. And I was gone for two years, so I went through and got rid of a bunch of stuff. So I'm building back up, you know, the dry goods and uh, canned goods and uh, yeah. that sort of thing. Well, Burger, there's, corn, there's no know. telling but, how much. Uh, there's no telling how much damage Monsanto did to the seeds of the planet. In the last what 40 50 uh, years we're probably pretty much screwed and another thing people debate on this climate change oh, I mean, what is go. really Suit. now listen to me what because both people both sides are wrong and i'll prove it to you so they'll say there's climate change no there's no climate change 
And what's <laughs> happening is, is they're like, the person that says there's no climate change, they're like, well, there's the natural cycles, but I'm not doing nothing to it. Really. Now, let me give you an example of some climate change. What we're finding in the ocean is the, uh, uh, the uh, what's some little microscopic creatures, uh, krill or, or something like that. The little krill. things. Yeah, the, the whales like that, eat right? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So the population of that is dropping. But why? There's, uh, there's different reasons why. Uh, you got whales that are beaching themselves and uh, other animals like um, be because of like tests from the Navy, these sonic stuff, all these different frequencies. And it'd be like, uh, you know, probably driving these things so crazy. They're trying to get out of the water. Like what they do to us. They're being bombarded. So <laughs> the, there is climate change within the ocean. There's there's climate change in, on the land. The uh, temperatures. Uh, here you get above freezing. Used to when I was a kid, I I'm pretty sure I'd like to go back and look at I don't. I think when it got winter, it stayed winter, and it wasn't like um, for the past I don't know how many years, fifteen years that I know of around here. Uh, generally, almost every spring or before spring, you get a warm uh, little time of warmness coming in, and the trees start budding out. Um, now that the hardy trees like uh, oak and uh, hickory and, and the other the gun, whatever they, they'll stand through that because uh they're built a little tougher but when you get into the fruit trees the peaches apples uh even some garden uh, variety of plants boom the uh, frost and you lose your uh, flower uh peach tree is not going to it's it comes out to cycle one time for a flower so the, the fruit flowers get knocked off you're not going to have any fruit so there is uh there is effect. Now, where where would uh, you see some of this? Maybe uh, I suspect all these nuclear tests they did in the upper atmosphere or for whatever reason. The other reasons that some of the ozone is gone. Um, this uh, allowing the, that's where this solar radiation management is going on. They want to put these uh, cause this uh, condensation trails to spread out in the air to uh, manage the solar radiation coming through. Is it? I suspect. It's so bad. It's gone so far that uh, if they stop their uh, their programs, that the the world will probably just be uh, burned up in no time. So it's so screwed up, and they're not going to tell anybody. So there is, I think, there is climate change. Um, they're they're dropping all this stuff out of the air that changes the plants that are you know now Monsanto, like you're talking about. They've got to come out with these aluminum resistant seeds. So yeah, the chi the climate is changing. That's for sure. But, well, you know, listen, it's not from cow farts. It's not it's from not, the things that they say are the catalysts or not. What they're not telling you is responsible is responsible. So it mm -hmm. puts you in a position to deny the nonsense, but not in a position to defend the truth because we live in crap. And this is what we get for being a bunch of butt nuggets listening to people lie all the time. Plankton. Thank How you, are you going to know the truth if you live in this bullshit? What do you expect? <laughs> uh oh. Well, I did I lose you? No, Moose wrote something unpleasant on the main feed. Didn't look good. Did? Yeah, not a good thing to see. But things happen, you know. So you got to do whatever oh. you do. Blessings, yeah. Moose. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, plankton is that's the word I think we was looking for. Okay, yeah. whales eat krill <laughs> too. Ooh. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Gr uh, Grimner, for uh, sending hands over to our quiet little place. But uh, actually, he's a lot different person over here. He's been he's not uh, argumentative and stuff like that. But he's does not got settled in and comfortable as soon over there. Hmm. But he's I guess he's acting right. He's going now. Wow. He won't listen to you. I don't care. He'll, he'll care maybe sometimes bear to listen to you if uh, when I'm on air. But Ooh, because you're so smart. Like, he yeah. wants to get in your pants. No, yeah, no, he wants to rub your balls. You guys hate each other. No, it's not going to happen. Vinny, okay, he wants to not rub your balls happen. for luck, so that he can hmm. be somebody. Because you're a celebrity, he likes to hang out with rich people and celebrities. Brags about it all the time. <laughs> Starbucks, baby, I go beat up the liberals. I asked him to make a video. I want to see it. 
Do they have uh, like a? Here, now, here, here kid, wait, let me. A stu- you know, wait, can store, I finish no, this first? Hang out. Go ahead. Okay, what I was getting at is if if he ever went to a Starbucks and did the things he types on here, he'd be on the freaking news. He'd be on YouTube. They'd be splatting his face all over the internet. So that tells me he don't do any of that. He just says he does it. I think you're right. But I've never come out and completely explained why I don't believe it. And I thought now that I'm on a strike on talking to him on the chat room... Now I can talk a little bit about him on the radio because you brought him up. And that's what I think. If I said I did something and you said, hey, prove it, I'd prove it. I'd do a radio thing, you know. There you go. Right. I'm proving yep. I believe these things by speaking them <clears throat> aloud and leaving a record behind me. Other people right. just like to type and, it's, and just assume that because they typed it, it's true. Oh, well, that's fantasy life. That's how little children behave, not grown-ups. Grown-ups, grown-ups are, uh, they're experienced with children, and they know when they're listening to one. <laughs> it's the whole point. Grown-ups don't behave that way. That's how children behave. So if you're an adult and you're still, my dick's bigger than your dick, and my car's faster than yours, you need to graduate from school sport and get your diploma, because <laughs> nobody here gives a fuck. Just you. And for whatever uh, reason, the guy don't see that. He just keeps typing like a moron. <laughs> there used to be another type of chat room. Uh, type of a chat room where old men would sit on the bitch at the porch at the... Well, when I was a kid, I was the Arkansas uh, at Pooge General Store up there. Where when you could get, I believe it was a nickel for a Coke bottle. How much you get? Maybe it was two cents on a Coke bottle, I think. I don't remember, but it wouldn't take long to get enough Coke bottles together, get a, a quarter for Coke and candy bar and peanuts and a couple of pieces of bubble gum. Um, <laughs> and, you know, they, they, that's so it's kind of evolved into this Internet age that it is. But, uh, yes, I, I'm in two chat rooms right now. So, Chloe, yes, um, seven billion humans uh, will have an effect. But that's that comes the, the main pollution comes from the corruption. So uh, I believe it's the, the fluoride. Does that not come from a, a process byproduct of uh, uh, aluminum, the aluminum industry? If I'm not correct, that's where a big portion of that, you know, that stuff leaked right to concrete. So well, well, any of, wait, what, what, there, what? there's a naturally occurring fluoride. that Okay. Uh, earth, yeah. Yeah. Plus yeah. like a sign. There's cyanide. There's, there's a left and a right type. All right. That's so not what cyanide, they put in the food. In apple seed. Or the... it, it's a good type of cyanide. Like so, the fluoride that might come from the ground would be a good. But this crap that comes out from, uh, uh, you know, manipulating chemical compounds in the processes. It's like table salt. You know how much stuff they got to do to that to get that stuff on your table, as opposed to to Himalayan sea salt or the uh, um, that other. What was the one from Ireland? What was that other name? I forget. Anyways. I've got him in the land. That's what I use. And if I ever have to use like table saw, it tastes disgusting. But I people use the land, they go, Ooh, that's nasty. But, you know, I forget how many, 84 different types of minerals in here. And table salt is uh, what I don't even have any in my house. But you know what I read? A, a, you know what I read a couple of weeks ago? Hey, what? Benny, about table salt. What? All the table salt that we consume through the commercial market has all got microscopic traces of plastic in it. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. They do the crime first. You know, the laws were written so they could get away with it for 20 years and, and pay a, you know, a fine at the end and everybody gets sick in the middle and fuck them. Mm-hmm. They bought our shit. Yeah. So what? Yeah, the and, laws against polluting is like, yeah. you know, they would they lock you up if you don't oil down the drain. Mm-hmm. But eh, maybe they'll give you a fine. So if you was in the business of uh, disposing of used motor oil and uh, you got paid $100 a barrel to dispose of it and uh, you dumped it down the drain and they charged you a $10 fine per barrel, you're still making $90 a barrel gross. Right. Yeah, right. So. It's it's the the cost of doing business that's right. figured in, and then See, it, then it filters down to the consumer 
who then gets the blame for the right. effect of one out of seven billion people <laughs> that's polluting the world, right? Isn't it now, what you and I have talked about is, is the uh, different types of oil. I'd like to give you an example. What's in the ground is dead. I know you guys think it's just naturally occurring, but um, <clears throat> and I, I think I'd like to take a, one day and do another presentation on a global flood. So to me, the evidence is quite clear and I can prove it, but I'm not going to do it today. It's too much. But the, <laughs> the, the layers extend around the world. One of flopping down on top of each other. They come out here in the hills. They got these Arkansas sandstones. The layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. And in studying uh, uh, the dis, uh, deposition of uh, material in water, alluvial uh, fan planes that uh, the deposit underneath the, in seas, you, you can, there's examples that uh, you can see processes, but there is no processy going today that will uh, duplicate uh, laying layer upon layer upon layer. It's, oh, this is a de this was a sea a billion years ago. Well, between all these layers that would supposedly be millions of years, there's no uh, in cut erosion. So there's like stacking one upon another. Now, if you take a, gar a jar, a bad quart jar, go out to your garden and dig put you some dirt in there, fill it with water and shake it, the settlement will come out. You know, your uh, heavier materials go down faster, right? So they, they're naturally separated in water. And then if you had the force of uh, a, a global flood, that this these waves are just continuing, rolling around the world, if you believe in a round earth, and if it's a, you believe in a flat earth, it's, it still worked the same, it'd bounce off the edge and uh, ripple back across and laying down. But so you've got a, like there's one layer uh, in Texas, Glen Rose, Texas, you'll find in in England, see uh, the, the white cliffs of Dover. And it's the same layer will come up over in um, Israel and different places. Then there's examples of these uh, all over the place. Just look at the the uh, the great northwest, uh, the Grand Canyon. People think that's a hole in the ground. Do you realize that that is not a hole in the ground, Grand Canyon? Oh, or I, I, I didn't know you were asking me a question. I thought you were telling me yeah. something. Well, I'm telling too, but then I then why it ask into a me? question. Do I live in Arizona? Do I look like an American I've, to you? What's your fucking problem, I, Johnny? <laughs> have you thought about what the Grand Canyon is? No. Most people think it's a hole in the ground. Never, never even really bothered with it. Never visited <laughs> it. Never got interest. Don't care. This well, one there's those... all those layers. They say it took millions and millions of years, and people think it's a hole in the ground, and they, it got washed out. They but, say they went to uh, the moon. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go get a map. They say they over. put fluoride in the water for your good of your teeth, so I don't believe anything these freaking people tell me. Nothing. What, what part of that doesn't transfer to you, Vince? If the government said so, no, it ain't going to play. Oh, and moose cakes and dork cakes and uh, I guess Hansel cakes are playing on the Chitter Chatter Real Liberty Media dot com. Anyway, that's a show for us tonight, Vince. Did oh, you really? Get, Five yeah, more minutes? Huh? Is it? Wow, that right. was fast yeah. fast you hour. came in late. Yeah, you had all kinds of shit on your mind. You've been yakking all night. Better than I did. I couldn't think of nothing exciting. It's what you're here for. It's you, a lot harder when you're, you're by yourself. If you got somebody to bounce off, and you and I are getting a lot better with each other about stopping and uh, when we're talking over one another. <laughs> it's uh, fun though. I like dude. that. We're fun. Yeah. Don't take the yeah, door table. You and I are doing better. Yeah, we're, we are. Don't take this too serious. This is just a lot of fun and and a way to tell people what we think. It doesn't mean it's law. That's what your program's for: is to make your solid point. And give some serious time to it. This is time for you to relax and have fun. And you're still stuck on. You have such <clears> an <throat> important point to make that you give it every breath. You know, yeah. Take a break now and again. Have a little fun sometime. It won't kill you. We know you're right about the Bundys. Well, I saw what you were at saying because it made sense. I went, oh, the government's doing what Israel does. And they're going to make the, the victim the problem, <laughs> you know, misdirect and lie through the media and the 
you know, the judicial system, in any freaking way they got control, they're going to express it. FBI, cops, all the, all the enforcement is going to come out against this little group of weirdos that wants the government to fuck off. And that's how immature-minded people are going to see it and not go, wow, what's this about? They're just going to see, oh, they're fighting. I don't know. The government doesn't do anything wrong. Uh, next thing. And that's what you're dealing with. It's amazing, amazing place we live in. Here's oh, a cool yeah. Google Maps. I dropped it over. Uh, well, hit that 360. But, Let me bring it over to RL. Too. You know, I live in yeah. such a small place that when po <clears throat> politics inter you know, t does something that the society doesn't like, even in Copenhagen, the local people join together in their quest against the government and slaps the government and goes, okay, you're going too far now. Come on, back up a little bit. And they, they allow the government to go this far with something, and then when they go too far, they bring them back. Because they're a smaller population. That's how I see that. America gets bullied by 500 people from, you know, 3,000 miles away. Ridiculous. And like you were saying about the, the populations in, like, 100 miles of the coast, the majority of it. So people got trapped huge, and somehow I, I didn't, you didn't, Grimner didn't. <laughs> Dork cakes... There's a few people that just by the luck of where they live escaped whatever shit they were seeing coming at them. And then they're happier for moving. Yeah. Me, I don't know. I got, I got Europe somehow. Ended up in Scandinavia. You know, started out in Scotland. So, but it, my opinion of how this whole game works is so different than normal John and Mary, you know, they all, they all don't know how to use the game to get, to make their own goal out of it and use that system to get what they want to. It's a two-way street if you uh, read the paperwork. Don't sign anything. Stay off the signatures. Those are traps. So I've been to, let me, before we run out, I, let me, uh, uh, we went over this isn't a good de demonstration here, but, uh, so I've been to the North Rim and the South Rim, both of the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. And it, if you're looking at this map, it just looks like uh, squiggly lines and this and that and the hole in the ground. But if you look at the green here, the Kaibab National Forest on the south uh, and then on to the north is uh, the mountain. See, that's a mountain or cross there. And in between is the Grand Canyon. So is what, the, what it was, this mountain range here was like a dam. And then you had a breach. And all this stuff breached right here, and it ripped the mountain out. Now, I have a theory of my own. It's the uh, the upper and lower Kaibabs. I think there may have been a fissure there that because uh, uh, water is so powerful. And uh, But anyways, regardless, if you have ever seen a pond, a pond dam breach, uh, and I, I saw one and I saved one time, it, it would have just ripped it all the way straight through and to the ground, and it goes really fast. Uh, cavitation, the power of water, uh, hydrodynamics uh, is, is quite incredible. But boom, there it is, ripped a hole through this mountain right here. So that's a gully through the mountain, a breach. And you can see it on this map right here if you know what you're looking at. If you don't understand <laughs> that those are mountains right there, then no. Uh, now, just that's just another example. Of the more that I, I take the time to listen to the more disappointed in what I was told I become because everything in the long run always turns out to be a little skewed, a little different. And, you know, if you're willing to lie to me about moon landings and money and banking and medicine and what you put in my. Oops, I guess I died. <laughs> 